It's the Walking Dead TV Podcast, Video Edition. This is Jordan from Jersey with the Walking Dead TV Podcast, and this is what I thought of Episode 4 of The Walking Dead, Vatos. And until about five minutes ago, I thought I knew what I was going to talk about. And then everything hit the fan. Not, not just the solidified fecal matter, but everything and the kitchen sink hit the, hit the fan at the last few minutes there. And I uh, guess I'll have to rethink things now. And major spoilers ahead, I think that goes without saying, but um, three, two, one, oh my gosh, people died tonight. Uh, Amy, she's gone. Ed, he's gone, as far as I can tell. I think Jim was bit too. It was a bit hard to tell. At first I thought it was Shane because of the blue shirt. And I know Ed had a blue shirt on too, but I'll have to watch it later. All I know is, as far as I'm concerned, Amy, dead and gone. Ed, dying and soon to be gone, thankfully. And uh, Jim, who, yeah, he had some rough moments tonight, but he seemed to be at least uh, mostly sane. Probably gone too. Uh, not sure, though. By the end of the episode, we still don't know where Merle is. Uh, we know where his hand is, we know where his belt is, and we know that he um, cauterized the arm, and we think he took the box truck. Other than that, we don't know. They kind of thought he went back to camp, but apparently not. Those of you out there who have read the books and think that they're setting Merle up to become another character? Could be. I don't know how I feel about it, and I'm not going to spoil it here for people who haven't read the books, but... um. If he doesn't show up again this season, I think there's a very good chance that we might see him down the road um, with a new title. Amy and Andrea get some nice sisterly bonding over their dad and fishing, and quite frankly, I should have seen um, Amy's fate coming, just because I've watched enough TV to know that when all of a sudden you're learning a lot about a character, there's a decent chance that they're not going to be around much longer, especially when they're trying to build sympathy with things like birthday presents. Did she die on her birthday, or was that the next day? Either way, sucks. And Ed, um, good riddance. Yeah, he deserved it. He deserved worse. Real quick, if you like what I have to say and want to hear more and want to hear what some of my friends have to think as well, check out walkingdeadtv.com. That's walkingdeadtv.com, the home of the Walking Dead TV podcast. We'll have our episode up hopefully Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, and uh, we'll be discussing Vatos in depth with a full recap of everything that went down in the episode, um, and really in-depth discussion of exactly what we thought of the episode. So check that out. Check out forumforgeeks.com. It's the home of the Walking Dead Podcast Network. If you like what we had to say, there's four other podcasts you can check out um, all about the Walking Dead and what they thought of it from all across the country. So check that out. But let's get back to the review now. Jim. Yeah, Jim had it rough. Kind of knew he did based on the comic, but, you know, he he had a nice showing last week of him being a level-headed guy, kind of quiet. This week he went a little bit crazy. Um... Heat stroke and all that. It's understandable. And then, like I said, I think he got bitten at the end of the episode. It was hard to tell, and I don't want to give away things from the previews for next week, but it was still hard to tell there, if that makes any sense. Um, Either way, it kind of sucked for him. Um, He would just want to dig, and and he had it it exactly right. If he wants to dig, even if he's scaring people, let him dig Shane. Uh, Shane is to go back to digging, digging his own grave more than anyone else on the show could possibly do for him. He is going to make everyone hate him long before anything else happens down the road. And he that's quite frankly on his shoulders. Yes, leading a group is hard, but Rick's been able to do it. Um, Guillermo has apparently been able to do it. And let's talk about Guillermo. We're introduced to the Vatos tonight. The gang that we've kind of known was coming up, if you read uh, casting information and all that, we didn't really know what they were. I don't think we still do, because even though by the end of the episode we're left feeling good about this gang, that they're just trying to protect the old people, the old folks' home, and do what's right with the dogs from Satan that are really poodles and such, um, I think that might be a bit of misdirection. I think, if not by the end of the season, uh, maybe by next season they will show up again, and maybe it turns out that they weren't so good-hearted. But only time will tell, and... I'd like to think that they're doing the right thing for the right reason, and just sometimes having to go a little bit overboard to protect uh, the people they love, but we'll see. As much as I was pulling for T-Dog to pull the trigger, um, I'm kind of glad he did it at this point. By the way, T-Dog, Irony Singleton, if you're a fan of his, you're going to want to check out WalkingDeadTV.com because we just interviewed him. We have a half an hour interview with him uh, just from last week. You're going to want to check that out. I believe it's episode 10, but we had a lot of fun talking to him. We want to thank him very much for coming on the show. So my head is still kind of reeling, and... (laughs) <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I think I've kind of covered everything, but who knows? So much stuff happened in that episode, especially the last five minutes, that it 
threw me for a loop. So definitely check out the podcast uh, Tuesday morning, afternoon. We'll see walkingdeadtv.com. Subscribe on iTunes, and uh, I'll be able to give you some more thoughts, more coherent thoughts, because, oh my gosh, when things like that happen, you it's just hard to process it right away. And I like to watch the episode again tomorrow on uh, on iTunes. So I really have a good feeling for what happened in the episode, even the parts where I was furiously taking notes or peeking out from behind my fingers. It wasn't really. But um, have a good week. Check out walkingdeadtv.com and uh, see you next time, hopefully. It's the Walking Dead TV Podcast, video edition.